This is the Music History Today podcast for July 22nd. On today's show, Smoking Grooves start, the Beatles come together, and Woodstock 99 begins. First up, though, on this date in 1850, composer Stephen Foster married his wife, Jane Denny McDowell. In 1937, Hal Kemp recorded the song, Got a Date with an Angel. In 1967, Vanilla Fudge performed for the first time. In 1968, Elvis Presley started filming the only film that he has a beard in, Charo. In 1969, the Beatles began recording their song, Come Together. On that same day, Aretha Franklin was arrested for causing a commotion in a Detroit parking lot. She paid a $50 fine, then ran over a road sign on her way out of the police station as payback. (laughs) Gotta love Aretha. In 1977, Tony Orlando played his final show for about six months while he dealt with the deaths of his sister Rhonda and also his close friend who was comedian and actor Freddie Prince who had committed suicide a little while earlier. In 1979, Little Richard came out saying, quote, If God can save an old homosexual like me, he can save anybody. End quote. In 1983, Diana Ross performed a free concert at Central Park. After having to cancel her concert there the night before after only playing a few songs because of a severe thunderstorm. In 1996, the Smoke and Grooves Hip Hop Festival Tour started. Performers included Busta Rhymes, Tribe Called Quest, Fuji's, and Cypress Hill. In 1997, the Smoke and Grooves Hip Hop Festival Tour started. Performers that year included Busta Rhymes and Public Enemy. In 1999, the Woodstock 99 Music Festival began. The festival, which was held on an Air Force base tarmac in searing heat and had overpriced tickets to go along with overpriced food and water, would end a few days later in a riot with arson and reports of sexual assaults. In 2006, singer David Bustamante married actress Paula Escavaria. In 2009, the group 21 Pilots was formed, and in 2010, the group Disclosure was formed. In classical music in 1933, Katerina Jarbora became the first African-American female opera singer to perform on stage in America. And in 1959, Benjamin Britten premiered his piece, Misa Brevis. In theater in 1976, the musical Let My People Come premiered on Broadway. Albums that were released on July 22nd include in 1966 when John Mayle and the Blues Breakers released Blues Breakers with Eric Clapton. In 1974, Stevie Wonder released Fulfillness Final Finale and the Commodores released Machine Gun. In 1977, Elvis Costello released My Aim is True. In 1986, Amy Grant released The Collection. In 1987, LL Cool J released Bigger and Deffer. In 1996, Disco Inferno released Technicolor. In 1997, Creator released Outcast and Earth, Wind & Fire released In the Name of Love. In 2003, Kiss released Kiss Symphony Alive 4. Cheap Trick released Special Case. Jane's Addiction released Strays and Gavin DeGraw released Chariot. In 2008, Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young released Deja Vu Live. Black Sabbath released The Rules of Hell. The Counting Crows released iTunes Live from Soho, and Chairlift released Does You Inspire You. In 2013, the Rolling Stones released Hyde Park Live, Live 2013, and in 2014, Bobby Patterson released I Got More Soul. Singles that were released in the UK on July 22nd include in 1966 when the Mamas and the Papas released I Saw Her Again, in 1983 the Hollies released Stop in the Name of Love, and in 1985 UB40 with Chrissy Hind released I Got You Babe. Meanwhile in America in 1963 the Beach Boys did a twofer. They released Little Deuce Coop and Surfer Girl, and in 1999 Days of the New released Enemy, and Len released Steal My Sunshine. Before we continue, we'd like to tell you about the Music History In-Depth podcast, where we go in-depth on the history of some of the events from the daily version of the Music History Today podcast. 
The Music History In-Depth podcast drops new episodes every Tuesday in audio and video form wherever you get your podcasts. We also have the Music Halls of Fame podcast, where we honor a year in music along with a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, along with who we think should be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Plus, we honor a different museum, Walk of Fame or Hall of Fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday in audio and video form wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to the Music History Today podcast. Artists who were born on July 22nd include singer Selena Gomez, George Clinton of Parliament Funkadelic, Don Henley of The Eagles, Pat Badger of Extreme, singer Keith Sweat, Rick Davies of Supertramp, Disney composer Alan Menken, Al DiMiola of Return to Forever, singer Rufus Wainwright, Daniel Jones of Savage Garden, teen idol Bobby Sherman, Estelle Bennett of The Ronettes, singer Chuck Jackson, singer Thomas Wayne Perkins of Thomas Wayne with the DeLons, singer Brian Howe of Bad Company, guitarist Phil Grand of Joe Cocker, backup band at least, Emily Saliers of The Indigo Girls, guitarist Jason Becker, singer Pedro Tovar, rapper Breezy, rapper Ben Barlow of Neck Deep, singer Margaret Whiting, K-pop artist Tablo, Arsenium of Ozone, drummer Mick Pointer of Marillion, drummer Will Calhoun of Living Color, saxophonist Mario Rivera, pianist Hal Schaefer, and accordion player Gorney Kramer. We discussed the lives of George Clinton along with Don Henley on this week's Music History In-Depth podcast, which dropped on this network by the time you're already hearing this. Please, of course, like and subscribe as well to that podcast. It's a good one. comes out every Tuesday. Meanwhile, artists who passed away on July 22nd include... Composer Pietro Tamburini, who passed away in 1635 at the age of 45. Composer Vaclav Kalyas passed away in 1786 at the age of 71. Composer Jean Benjamin de la Borde passed away in 1794 at the age of 59. Composer Joseph Jarovec passed away in 1840 at the age of 83. Composer Karl Gurr passed away in 1848 at the age of 60. Composer Carl Schuberth passed away in 1863 at the age of 52. Guitarist and pianist Aged Lickle passed away in 1864 at the age of 60. Composer Zygmunt Kolosowski passed away in 1868 at the age of 51. Composer Joseph Strauss passed away in 1870 at the age of 42. Pianist and composer Anna Ori passed away in 1880 at the age of 72. Composer Bror Beckman passed away in 1929 at the age of 63. Composer Antonio Valencia passed away in 1952 at the age of 49. Composer Hugo Cowder passed away in 1972 at the age of 84. Composer Pavel Borkovec passed away in 1972 at the age of 78. Singer Larry Finnegan passed away from a brain tumor in 1973 at the age of 34. Jazz saxophonist Sonny Stitt passed away from cancer in 1982 at the age of 58. Conductor Otmar Nusio passed away in 1990 at the age of 87. Album cover artist David Roger Roritz passed away from AIDS in 1992 at the age of 37. Music promoter Dave Clark passed away in 1995 at the age of 85. Trumpet player Percy Humphrey passed away in 1995 at the age of 90. Keyboardist Robert Collins passed away in 1996 at the age of 33. Singer Tamara Dans passed away from cancer in 1996 at the age of 43. Opera singer Herman Prey passed away in 1998 at the age of 69. Jazz singer Marion Montgomery passed away from lung cancer in 2002 at the age of 67. Singer Sacha Distel passed away in 2004 at the age of 71. Jazz saxophonist Illinois Jaquette passed away in 2004 at the age of 81. 
Eugene Record of the Chai Lights passed away from cancer in 2005 at the age of 64. Punk rock star Dika Newlin passed away in 2006 at the age of 82. Guitarist Jesse May Hemphill passed away in 2006 at the age of 82. Guitarist Joe Beck passed away in 2008 at the age of 62. Blues guitarist Philip Walker passed away in 2010 at the age of 73. The singer with the Arturo Toscanini NBC Orchestra, Nan Merriman, passed away in 2012 at the age of 92. Singer and producer Bobby Taylor passed away in 2017 at the age of 83. And singer and keyboardist Art Neville of the Neville Brothers and also the Funky Meters passed away in 2019 at the age of 81. Next time on the Music History Today podcast, it is July 23rd, when in 2011, the world loses Amy Winehouse. Thank you very, very much for listening, if you're listening on the podcast, or if you're watching this on YouTube or Spotify video. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share this podcast. And if you like this podcast and you want more of our podcasts, then I invite you to check out our Music Halls of Fame podcast in either audio or video form. It drops every single Thursday. You can listen to the audio version of this podcast on Apple, Anchor, Spotify, Google Podcasts, CastBox, wherever you get your podcast from, all under Music History Today. You can also watch the video version of this podcast on either YouTube or Spotify Video, also under Music History Today. Our Facebook page is Music History Today. Our website is jameritaniamedia.com. And our Twitter is twitter.com backslash Music History Day. Thank you very, very much for listening or watching. 